reached out to us last summer, really frustrated about those illegal fireworks in her neighborhood. She says she pestered police, she pestered the park district, even her aldermen, and she got no results. Now, almost a year later, she's asking for action again ahead of the 4th of July holiday. Morning Insider Lauren Victory takes us inside her crusade to defuse illegal fireworks. In tiny Greenbrier Park on the northwest side, you'll find lots of tiny feet. I love that it's a place that the kids hang out. And but Madeline Caton also gets squeamish about all of the squeals. She's worried about everyone's safety. I saw kids sitting on these benches 20 feet, 50 feet from fireworks being launched. Illegally launched fireworks are a problem across Chicago every July 4th. CBS 2 photojournalist Alan Maniscalco's drone shows how close to home some were shot off last year. The dogs in the neighborhood are terrified. Including Teddy Boffman's pet Cinnamon, who gets scared by the noise over and over. For weeks before July 4th, for weeks after July 4th, and particularly on July 4th, there are fireworks going off. Then there's the litter left behind. Katen snapped photos of it spewed across the baseball diamond and still burning under a tree last summer. And the policeman actually suggested that I move out to the suburbs. I mean, that's not an answer. What is the answer? Well, I mean, the challenge is it's hard to find an answer, right? Katen's alderman, Andre Vasquez, says, quite frankly, that police in the park district are spread too thin to curb illegal fireworks. His office is looking into other ways to deter amateurs, including giving them a thrill by hosting a sanctioned, professionally run July 4th display in his ward. For something like that, what we had looked as an estimate was raising $65,000. But that money won't be ready by this July 4th. I've been asking for help for a year. We should have been way ahead of this year's fireworks. Fired up with fingers crossed that there's no 911 calls to make while she waits for change. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. The Park District tells us that it will turn on lights at ball fields in an effort to deter illegal fireworks. Now, should people call 911 if they witness someone shooting off a firework? Well, Chicago police never responded to our simple question. For more stories like this from Lauren, download the CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insight.